Hi Scorpio, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. Welcome to the new spread. And so this is going to be a general read for the month of January. So bear in mind not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Also, spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. So the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying. Okay, so let's get this party started. Overall energy is number 10. Kaitiaki. I don't think I'm saying that right, but feast thine eyes. Actually, while we do that, let's look her up. Okay, so Kaitiaiki, you are Kaitiaiki, guardian of the divine feminine. Your relationship with Mother Earth, Papa Uat, Pap, Papa Dua, Papa Tua Unuku, Mother Earth is sacred, empowering, and healing. You are destined to become more spiritually intimate with her, sharing in her creative potency and wisdom. Lean into her and trust in her support even as you serve her by courageously voicing truth. She is your great ally, friend, and healer. As you dedicate yourself to her, she dedicates herself to you. Okay, so let's see, major energies right now, nine of swords, Whoop. temperance, and the empress, nine of swords, temperance, and the empress, okay, you're dedicating a lot of thought. You are dedicating a lot of thought to your spirituality and what that really means to you. And not only what it means to you, but your role in it. How, how do you give back? How do you give back to how do you give back to your community? How do you receive from your community? How do you, how do you balance both your conscious and your shadow side? And how do you make it all work? Because it's designed to work. I mean, the reason that you went on your spiritual path anyway was because what was happening in your everyday needed adjustment. And so now, because previously it was going on just a feeling. I just have a feeling, right? And now it's like, no, you need to know. And this, This has you in a very heady space and the information that you are finding can be disturbing, right? Because you're really looking at not only who you present yourself to be, but also who you really are and those parts of you that you would want just hide away or act like they don't exist 
Now it's about embracing the two. So that you can learn how to receive. It's so you know how, so you learn how to create. You know, the Empress is very fruitful. She's, there's, there are always spiritual babies coming from the Empress. It could be, she, she's ruling empires and empires are collections of kingdoms. She knows how to naturally receive and also she is the circle of life. She knows how to receive and she knows how to give. And you're really looking at giving and receiving, yin and yang, and how to balance all of these to smooth out what's going on in your headspace. So the Nine of Swords is clarified, this is Spirit God jokes, by the Nine of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Devil. Like, I can't make this up. I can't make this up at all. Okay, so you've got, again, a lot of racing thoughts. about these new feelings that are here, page of cups. And you're really afraid that you're, you're going to go from zero to a hundred real quick and wind up being consumed again by this new thing, by this new thing, by this new thing. Which would make sense that you would call for temperance here with this, with these clarifiers. And to clarify temperance, Lord have mercy, you've got the death card, your energy, the ten of cups, and the page of wands. So what I'm seeing here is that you are embracing, you're embracing the change because you know that it's going to give you the emotional stability that you're looking for. You just have to know how much of your, your fire, your inner fire to apply to this. Because again, we are talking about temperance. So with this page of wands, it's not a king of wands. It's not a queen of wands. It's just just a little bit of just, 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 a, just a twist of passion fruit. Got to send it back if it's more than a twist, right? Because what you're looking for is emotional stability. Because you have come to the end, because you've come to the end of intellectualizing your new phase in your life. The Empress is clarified by the Knight of Wands. Come on now. The Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. Again, again, just enough because you started over here with just the page of wands. So it's, it's, you know, kind of, kind of thinking about or giving yourself permission to feel this inner fire. And then the Knight of wands is like the first heat of actually feeling that inner fire, right? Same thing with this Knight of cups. And you had the page of cups over here, clarifying the nine of swords. So it's that same con what I'm seeing is the same concept, giving yourself permission to feel and then actually getting the first bits of warm fuzzies here, because you know what's really going on 
in your heart space, King of Cups. And the King of Cups, he's, even though he has a lot of emotion, he does not show a lot of emotion, right? Because he is, he, he's the master of it. So, he's that... He would be the he would be the one that gives the gestures or is just that quiet presence that's just there. You know, it's it's not about the flowery words with the King of Cups. It's it's about I mean, and then you see like even even in his crown. If I can show, even in his crown, it's spilling out on the top. So it's just, it's, he has a lot of love to give, but he's not going to spray it around like a fireman's hose, you know? So we're going to look at... the final pieces of advice from spirit. Oh, hold on, let me do this so that we can see. Okay, we have the 10 of cups, we have the sun card, we have the eight of wands, and we have the death card card. So I'm going to let you. Yep, there it is. Ten of cups again. Same card, two decks. Same card, two decks. Okay? Yes, King of Cups, you have a lot of love to give. All right. So this is long-term happiness. This is long-term emotional stability, right? And it is here for you. And the way to that has been illuminated by the Sun card. And with the Eight of Wands, you can either choose to stay in your self-imposed mental prison or death card. Put that to an end because you've learned all that you can learn from that particular space and it's time for something new. So Scorpio, thank you for taking some time out to spend with me today. And until we meet again, remember to always be good to yourselves and be good to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye, Scorpio.